what's up y'all it is about three weeks later i believe from the last well all right what's up y'all it's about three weeks later i believe from the last from part one of this video where i was kind of setting up this spot um with the yeah, big and j uh tractant and this is my first time walking up on it and it's definitely torn up i don't know how well you can see it but the ground's definitely torn up i'll be very interested to see what game cam pictures i have on it because it's pretty pretty torn up and there's tracks all up in it looks like there's deer and hog tracks i'm hoping that's the case but uh we'll, we'll go ahead and check this camera and see what we got here oh my gosh the mosquitoes are horrible uh let's see how many pictures do we have jeez is this camera dead let's see oh. jeez i'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes man golly Alright, these camera batteries might be dead, so hopefully they lasted enough to get some good pictures. So, I'll go ahead and save these, and then when I get back home, I'll probably, I'll, uh, I'll post whatever pictures. Ah, gosh, getting eaten up by mosquitoes. Um, I'll post whatever pictures I got and kind of go over them with y'all and see like kind of my general opinion and results of uh of the attractant so stick with it all right y'all so let's start looking at some of these trail cam pics um that I recovered from the camera I set up on this uh on the big and j uh pile so uh to start it out here looks like we have um just a little picture of a doe uh, that's coming in in the evening. I believe this was a few days after setting out the uh, the attractant. Um, it looks like it's kind of heading towards it. Can't really tell if it's right on the spot or not. Um, so if we just move forward here, it looks like we got a small little buck. As you can see, it's still in velvet. These pictures were back in you know uh, back in the summer when. When bucks were still in velvet i just haven't got around to actually giving this part two update um for the results uh, of the big and j attractant so um deer definitely coming in uh to the area uh and it's quite a ways away from our feeders we have corn feeders here in texas um so it's hard to tell you know if they're coming into the corn or if they're actually coming into the attractant but there's really nothing else um, in the area besides uh, the Big and Jade that I put out. So I'm assuming that most of the pictures that I have of deer um, that came into, uh, to, that got it caught on camera, um, I'm assuming that they were attracted in some sort of way uh, to come this direction uh, by the attractant. So next we have a couple bucks. Uh, this is actually a wide six point that I've had a few picture of at our feeders as well. Um, and then it looks like it's hard to tell for, for my tiny screen here, but maybe a small eight point <clears throat> as well. A little tight rack, uh, looks like probably still in velvet as well. So definitely cool to get some bucks in the area. Um, and again, looks like they're coming. It looks like that same evening, actually, uh, right before dark. Another one here. This looks like a few days prior or previously. Um, and you could definitely tell that this, these does are actually have their nose on the ground. Um, the one in the back looks like it's actually uh, kind of licking that attractant, that mineral lick, um, that Big and J that I put out. So that does tell you right there that it did, um, in fact, work uh, to an extent. Uh, it is licking the ground. Um, my biggest thing with this is, is I'm just not sure how many days or, or how long, you know, the attractant after you put it out uh, can last. I've had it out now for, for a few months, um, and it's still beaten down pretty good, but 
there's not stuff coming directly into it like like it was here just a few days after I put it out. So just some thoughts on it there. Um, this is another picture I got. Uh, probably the most deer in a single picture. Um, maybe I have one more, I believe, uh, from this for this part two results. But you could definitely tell these two does in the front are are licking the ground right on the spot. Um, so it is attracting them for sure. You could see a small buck. It looks like to the right there. Some more bucks in the background. Maybe a couple does as well. Um, it's hard to say if those deer were were heading towards the feeder. Uh, feeder's kind of off to the right here, so hard to tell if they were heading towards the feeder. Um, but those two does are definitely right on the attractant. In the last photo here, uh, you know, you can see those two does right on there again. You can see a couple, a nice buck there in the background. It looks like one of our bigger ones that we have uh, in the area on camera at least. Um, and then a couple smaller bucks up front. That one might be that wide six point that we saw previously. I'm not sure. Um, but so uh, to conclude this, uh, I definitely think that the tractant does work to an extent. Um, I think like the front of it might say like attracts deer up to a mile and all, or something like that. I, I'm not sure if that's, uh, really the case here, uh, to be honest with you. A lot of these, we've had pictures of some of these deer, uh, on the corn as well at our feeders. So it definitely does attract deer to an extent. Um, again, I, I don't think I would just put this out and then hunt over it alone. Um, like if there wasn't a feeder in the area, uh, again, we're in Texas. Uh, up north, it might be different, but we use feeders down here. So um, I'm not saying I would like just go put th this big and J tract in the middle of a field and just hunt right over it. Um, maybe the first couple days uh, when that you know attracting is that it's you know when it's most fruitful. Uh, I'm not sure how to say that, but whenever the smell is most potent, I guess. Um, whenever the weather hasn't hit it or got to it yet. Um, I believe it might've rained to get also a few days after I put this out. So, um, I'm told that I, when I dug up the ground, that if you put it there, put it with some water, um, then when it rains, stuff will kind of come back. Um, cause that attractant will still be in that soil. When it rains, it kind of brings it back up. So that's something to think about as well. But, um, I'm interested to see, uh, comment below if you guys have had any, experience uh you know trying out these different attractants um, whether it's a liquid like this one uh, or i know there's a lot of powders out there as well i've tried some um some other powder attractants as well but I i've had okay luck with them um on the on pictures at least i haven't had a ton of luck actually seeing deer in person uh over just the attractants alone so um let, let me know what you guys think uh, i tried to do my best to give a little overview of kind of how I set all this up in the part one, go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, how I set up the area uh, for, for the attractant and then kind of, again, the results uh, like we see here. But uh, we don't have any like monster bucks, so can't show you anything like that. It didn't attract anything crazy, um, but let me know if you guys enjoy this video or if what you guys want to see more product reviews or, or anything like that. I'm always interested to try new attractants or... Uh, just different types of, of gear uh, as well. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a good one.